Hi, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this video I'd like to show you how to make an ultra-thin and compact leather money clip wallet. A downloadable PDF pattern with instructions can be downloaded at fisherworkshops.com. If you'd like to receive updates on my latest video releases, please subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. Let's start by tracing our pattern shapes onto the leather I'm going to be using for this wallet. For the interior card slots and exterior card slot, I'll be using 0.9mm vegetable tanned horse leather. Although any thin leather should be sufficient. For the wallet body and hidden pockets, I'll be using 0.9mm vegetable tan leather. When you've finished, you should have 10 pieces of cut leather along with your money clip. I first stain the three parts for the main body with Craft Japan Antique Stain. When I finished, I wiped off the excess stain and applied a darker brown stain over it to create a slightly marbled look. Finally, I applied several coats of Kraft Japan's high gloss sheen to finish it up. Use a stitching groover to mark out stitching lines on the interior pieces. Use an edge beveler to bevel the edges as illustrated.
apply a little burnishing gum to the edges of the card slots and burnish with a wood slicker or rotary tool burnisher. Note that when burnishing thin leather, don't apply too much pressure to the edges. This may damage the edges, so I recommend practicing on a test piece first before taking this step. I marked two lines 3 centimeters apart down the center of the wallet and punch stitching holes. Here I am using a fine diamond stitching chisel. You'll want to keep one, two, three or more prong stitching chisels handy. Mark where your exterior pocket ends on the wallet body. Sand the edges and apply a little contact cement to the edges of the wallet body and card slot. Punch stitching holes around the exterior card slot. Fix your project to a stitching horse and saddle stitch the money clip loop together. If you are using a synthetic thread, solder the thread ends with a lighter or torch. Now we can see how our money clip fits. Using a pattern, I want to place my cards onto the interior body and punch stitching holes. Now saddle stitch together. Repeat this process for each card slot. Before attaching the final slot, roughen the edges and apply contact cement as illustrated.
Now punch stitching holes along the interior walls of each piece and stitch together. Sand the edges until they are even and smooth, then bevel and burnish. Apply a little contact cement to the edges and the interior pieces and assemble. Using your groover, draw out your stitching lines, punch stitching holes, and saddle stitch together. Sand any uneven edges down before beveling and burnishing the wallet. Finished. Also note that I made this wallet to be ultra thin and compact while still holding lots of cards and cash. Although if you prefer a thicker wallet, then simply use a thicker leather for the main body. Although I wouldn't recommend anything thicker than 2.2 millimeters. 
Adjustable clips like the one I use for this wallet are available in most leather craft supply stores and online stores. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thank you for watching.